They're making armors down there. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is awesome. Oh, wow. I don't like it. I don't like this place already. I see a lot of water. Oh, this dude just woke up. That's a boss. That's a new boss. And the door is locked. How on earth am I gonna fight him? Hey guys, it is me, Episode again. Welcome to Last Dinner Survival. So I have awesome news. A new update is out. Finally, Laboratory is available. It's so fun to see how developers release basically two updates so quickly because look at this. We still have like that season 14. It's not like this is season 15 or something. Who cares about that season when we have the laboratory? So let's just hop in. I took with me a couple of AKs. Also, just to make some things clear, I have no clue what's going on and what this update is about. I just woke up myself and I saw that Android update is out. And that's where I like like the best way to wake up to last dinner survival update. And you know what else would be great? If you followed me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash happy twitch. I'm gonna be streaming there some last dinner after this video goes live. So hey, make sure to come there and say hello. But first of all, finish watching this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Mm -hmm. All right, so all that stuff aside, let's literally, I'm even gonna activate my sprinting skill. Wait, no, 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 no. First of all, we're gonna talk to Eva. What's up? We still have to do the same task. She doesn't say anything new. I don't see anything new over here. There is Harry. And let's go to the laboratory. Will we be able to enter it? I don't see anything new. Nothing's new, but probably we can enter it. I seriously love the season 14. I love everything that they've done with it. It's like, it was some sort of a season. We were grinding towards this laboratory. And then boom, at the end of the season, we were able to get that laboratory. That's fine. I'm gonna unlock it. So did it work? Oh no, now there's that infestation. I need to open up the door once again. Okay, let's open up this door. They cleared it! Uh, the way to the lab heart is through the reactor. Okay, let's go to the reactor. So that's it? We can enter it? Will we be able to enter it? Wait, can I open it up? Let's go, baby. Fill bioreactor. Oh, we need to touch the bioreactor. That's what I gotta do. Okay, how does it work? So I need to add grass, corn cobs. We can add like those sprouts, mushrooms, some other of those green thingies. What are they? I've never seen this stuff in my life. So we need to just add a bunch of leaves. You know what? We might have a bunch of grass in my inbox. Ooh, they changed how the inbox looks like. And we also got a gift package. I love gifts. <laughs> Let's open up the gift. So we're gonna get an Uzi, five bandages and three nades. Mm, very beautiful. Also, now wait, we have the crater tab. We have the wasteland tab. This is so awesome. Look at this. Now we can even change stuff. This is great. So what if I go to maybe resources and can I get my grass? Yes, we have insane amount of grass. <laughs> nice guys, so let's drop everything that I can inside of this bioreactor. Boom, boom, we're gonna fill it up fully probably. Nice. And only then we'll be able to enter inside of this lab. Can I click on it right now? Oh no, I need to fill it up fully. All right, that shouldn't be big of a deal. As I said, we have a bunch of this grass. So let's take it. Maybe again, filling it up with grass isn't the smartest idea because I would suggest you probably transforming your grass into pieces of cloth. Can I use my carrots here? Oh yeah, I can even use carrots. Stack of carrots? Ah, uh, not really. We have a bunch of grass. But yeah, transform your grass into pieces of cloth and then those pieces of cloth go into your bandages. That's like probably the best way to get healing items in the game. All right, let's get back to resources. I'm gonna take some more plant fibers and hopefully that will be enough to fill up this bioreactor. Here go, access to sector terminal received. So do we go right now or do I click on upgrade? Maybe I just go there right now, that's it. Will this guy say anything? Okay, so it begins. The question is, what is it exactly? I have no idea, mate. I'm just as clueless as you. But hey, thank you for chatting with me. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Let's open the buyer. Ooh, it's like Bunker Alpha. We have the second and third floor. What? And what if I click on upgrade? Oh. Oh, that's what we need. Okay, I get it. I'm gonna just take a picture quickly just to see... What I have to bring. Wait, first of all, I don't even know where to get those pipes. Like, those pipes are from Sector 7. I don't have them. Oh, they changed probably how high-tech components look like. They looked a bit different. So, I might have everything besides, like, those pipes. Probably we're gonna get those pipes from the laboratory, right? If I click on it again. Oh, uh, only then I'll be able to upgrade it to level 2 and then whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's go, guys, to the second floor now. Let's see what this lab is all about. I'm already loving it. I love that finally we'll be able to use, like, that grass and other, like, stuff from maybe swamp location. Like, those corn cubs to be able to fill up the bio reactor. Okay, so hundreds of people decided to walk through these doors. It was their choice. What choice will you make? I'll walk through that door, of course, mate. Uh, if I die, I respawn back in my base. <laughs> okay, so let's check this. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Let's click on it and what that is. All this is the same bioreactor, so maybe here we need to upgrade it to level 2 and then we'll be able to go to like level 3 lab. Alright, so sector 
B2. Here we have, uh, what is it? Uh, sector A2 and uh, Sector B1. I need to switch my head. <laughs> I need to turn my head to see what's going on. Let's go probably to Sector A1. I'm so excited. Let's go, baby. We're opening up the door. The first door ever. Uh, what is it? Um, I'm gonna touch it again. What is going on? Friend or foe restoration. Choose perk. Oh, so we can take three perks. Every third attack with edged weapons causes the target to bleed for 10 seconds. Friend or foe. Enemies ignore you until you start attacking them or get too close to them. Doesn't work on bosses. I think that's gonna be the best one. Opens access to labs, well-mounted devices that restore your health. Maybe we should use this. Let's try to use this for the memes. I just want to see what it's like to use it. Yeah, there will be lots of things that we can unlock. There will be lots of those probably different perks that we can take and we will definitely explore all of them. But I think right now I'd like to check out like this restoration tab yes let's confirm it that's it perk selected so we we were able to take one perk this is freaking awesome seriously props to the dev that they made this update like it's it looks amazing like it looks awesome it's something that we've never had in the past like all of these new perks or something i love the laboratory i i'm sad that it didn't take a spreadsheet so we'll just spam my ak's here screamer oh no there's the this acid melter i gotta deal with him as fast as possible or he will just melt my armor should have maybe brought another armor with me Probably that's what I should have done. Okay, let's deal with that screamer. And what they dropped for us? This guy just... Who? Oh, key card A. Used by Genesis Laboratory employees to get access to the storage. What? This is just nuts. I love it. They added like new item that looks like alpha card. And I'm like, wow, that's epic. But that's really epic. What if I click on it? Beep. All right, there is a spore runner. Skedaddle from here. We got another A card. So will we... This is like bunker alpha V2. Will we be able to unlock uh, crates with those cards? Are these like green cards from bunker alpha? This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Obviously, in the future, we're going to come up with better strategies on how to clear that stuff with gu with melee weapons. But hey, uh, I can't even leave this place here. That's great. I can't even... Oh, I cannot lure them there. Oh, no, my armor is dead. My armor is almost dead. Just, it's not dead yet. It's not dead yet. Maybe it's going to be quite even hard to clear this place with only melee weapons. But hey, we will see. I'm going to take my probably sneaking skill. That would be better. Yeah, probably taking that uh, foe or friend. That was probably the best thing to take, as they wouldn't be attacking me now for no reason. I'd, ha I'd be able to go and sneak damage them with my, like, saw blade mace or with something else. All right, so I don't see anything in this room. Future with Genesis. Yeah, yeah, we see how it went. Let's sneak. Let's open up the door. Uh, will they attack me again as soon as I open it up? Oh, wow, look at these plants! I'm gonna attack this guy, Scientist Spore Runner. I don't get damage even when they spray that stuff on me. There's a Shambler. All right, we're gonna deal with this. Sh this Shambler does, uh, has more health, no? Am I mistaken? I wanna see how much damage it does. 16 damage. I think this Shambler is a bit stronger than other Shamblers. Maybe, and I think I see what that dispersing thing it did to me. Look at, look at my health, it kind of dropped. It definitely kind of dropped. When I'm standing here, yeah, I'm getting kind of poisoned. My health goes below uh, max health, so maybe I have to avoid them. All right, Screamers, Acid Melters, that's going to be quite tough. Uh, acid Melter, here go, dead, so that, that's it. All I have to do now is just deal with those Screamers, which shouldn't be that hard. Maybe you'll be able to wall trick them. The, wall, the cool part is that there is no timer on it, so technically you could come up with some nice strategies to clear this place. But as I said, right now we're just spraying guns. Uh, spraying and praying <laughs> that we don't die. All right, there is another acid melter. Oh, that's where we can restore my health. That was goop. That was honestly goop. This place seriously reminds me from uh, Half-Life Alex. You know, you go there, it was like the even almost same sound effect. Like beep, beep, beep. Okay, so that was goop. I probably took seriously, guys, the worst perk. Probably don't take it as it's seriously the worst perk. Or maybe here I'll be able to heal up fully all the time without any... Can I go heal up again? You can only you can only heal up here once! This is so useless! I just seriously, guys, wasted my perk. I'm sorry. I'm dumb, dumb. Like, literally, zero AQ person. What can I do? Let's deal with this acid melter. And is that it? Did we loot this place? Can I loot it? Uh, we got a crate, and inside of the crate... Two pipes, baby. Yes, let's get four of those key cards. I didn't even read the description of them, what they do. So, used by the Genesis Laboratory employees to get access to the storage. I love it. I love it. So, we're gonna get reagent box. This box glory days are behind it. But there still might be something useful inside. Can I use it? I mean, I can use it. 
I can use that box, but what does it do? I mean, let's use it. Oh, I just got a box here. I got uh, an alcohol bottle. All right. All right, boomer. Uh, I think we're just gonna go further. I'm gonna try to sneak. Oh, no. My guy just doesn't want to sneak. Wait, there's another thing. Is that where I came from? No, that's not where I came from. There's another one of those screamers. Why do I even want to kill him? Maybe for the card? Maybe for the sake of that card? Here, here, go. Let's get it. Uh, nothing inside of this room. I'm going to heal up with my bandages. Gonna heal up like that a little bit. Gonna bring another AK with me. We're gonna waste so many guns in this laboratory. It's not that hard, probably. It's not as hard as Bonker Bravo, but it's definitely harder than Bonker Alpha. Oh no, I won't be able to open up this door right now because I am poisoned with that gas. So let's here go. The poisoning's gone. Let's open up that door. And look at this, these stupid scientists. Oh no, there's Acid Melter. We gotta deal with him. Here go. You gotta deal with that Acid Melter, melter ASAP. This place is so pretty. Look at how big it is. Look at how big it is. This is amazing. I love it. I love that they added green grass and whatever. I mean, we never had anything similar like this in Last Dinner. Bunker Alpha was just like all concrete and like steel and whatever walls. But here we have like those trees. It's completely different vibe. It gets our except well, We can even unzoom. Oh, we can't even unzoom. Use the unzooming skill in this place. All right, maybe I can sneak behind those guys. There's a slasher. There's like three slashers. Um, all right. All right. I mean, I could use this perhaps on... I mean, it's not going to work on three of them. I just wasted my AK a little bit. Let's deal with that scientist. Maybe that scientist does a lot of damage. Can I wall trick these peeps? I mean... Oh, no. I almost died from him. I almost died from him. Well, I'm just going to spam my gun. Here we go. And maybe I'll be able to stay here. Okay, so you will be able to kind of wall trick these people then. To wall trick these schmucks. That's good enough. That's good to know. That means there will be strategies. Uh, Alright, so let's stay here now. He attacked me. I have no idea if it's possible to wall trick them. I mean, yeah, it is possible to wall trick them. Look, look at this. <laughs> look at this. You can bring probably your melee weapon and that would work. I mean, I'm gonna show for you how it would work. You bring your katana, you take it like this, and then you just attack them. That's how it that's how it works. I mean, it will be hard to fight two zombies at the same time, but it is possible. Let's bring one more AK. My armor kind of breaks. And let's go further. I'm also interested if this place will keep having, like, different zombies all the time. Or, uh, please try again later. Okay. I can't go there. So, yeah. Will this place, like, keep having different zombies or everything is going to be the same? So, this way we can come out with a good strategy. Or is it, like, in Bonker Bravo? Every time you come there, you get different zombies. Okay. Spore Runner. And a Shambler. We can... You can wall trick that Shambler. Like, seriously. Probably I'm just wasting my stuff on him. Check this out. We can go probably over here. Wall checking from this side is gonna be kind of goop, probably. All right, I'm gonna let him come here, probably. Let's go like this, and I'll hide here. Here, go. Please tell me he's not gonna come to me. All right, so the Shambler isn't attacking us now. All right, so I'm taking my thing. I'm gonna go up, and I still can't attack him. Okay, so he's probably gonna come closer. Here, go. So right now, we can definitely do that uh, wall check with the Shambler. Look at this. So you can save your guns. You don't have to just spam your AKs on that Shambler. It, it depends. We'll need to test out these walls because maybe these walls are a bit different than in Bunker Alpha. Maybe some of that stuff will get even patched. But again, like developers kind of confirm the wall trick is part of the game. It's not like it's abusing the system or something. So I don't know. Why would they remove this? I hope they don't remove it because that's like the only more skillful part of the game that's left here. So hey, I love wall trick. Everybody should be using wall trick. Uh, where do I go further? Oh no, I can't go there. Uh, I probably have to go through this door then. Oh, more of these zomzoms. Can I hide behind this door? All right, we can we can hide here. We can definitely hide. Let's deal with that scientist. I have no idea why that scientist seems kind of scary, but probably he is scary. Here we go. There's a spore spreader. Why am I fighting here with my AK? Don't ask me these questions. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> Let's bring maybe another Glock just in case. Whatever. Because I'm definitely wasting here way too many AKs. I should be probably saving them for bosses. And there are bosses because it said that... Uh, like that friend or foe perk skill only works uh, for simple zombies. It doesn't work on bosses. So that means there are bosses in the game. It also feels like we've gotten lots of these A cards. Like these uh, yeah, key cards A. Those Genesis cards, it feels like we'll be able to get something nice from him, but who knows, maybe you require like hundreds of those A cards to do anything uh, worth it. Oh no! This place is goop, kinda. I'm gonna deal with this guy. Acid melter, die, screamer, die. Oh yikes, that would be pretty tough to clear this place without guns. Oh wow, oh lord. Oh lord, my armor is kinda broken. You know what, let's go maybe quickly to the inbox. And can I get to, like, equipment? And we only got, like, that CBRN armor, so let's take it. I mean, yeah, why not? Let's take boots, let's take the CBRN armor thingy, let's take the pants, and I only don't have a helmet. 
and we got a helmet here, mate. So let's take it. Now we're going to quickly sort it out in the inventory just so that I can pick, 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 quickly equip it. Maybe I should even equip it right now. You know what? Yeah, let's equip it. Let's equip it right now. So have we done the loop? How bigger is this place? And I don't want to fight any bosses right now. I'm not ready for them. We're going to die. This is like literally my first time doing it. As I said, I have no clue what I'm doing. We are experiencing it together. Me and you. I'll go there a bit later. I'll check this out. Oh, it's another health pack thing. It's so garbage. Why did I get this perk? Don't use this perk. It's probably the worst perk there is. Okay, acid melter. Die. And there's like that spore spreader. For the spores, can I still get the damage from the spore spreader? Oh no, because I have my CBRN thingy. So probably for the spore spreader, we can take a gas mask and fight them with your melee weapons. That might be kind of worth it. So let's go here and there is a box. Let's open it up. I see a storage here. I see a big storage room. We're going to get this. I can open it up. We got some acid thingies. Nice. More pipes and more key cards. Can I open up the door? Nope. Pass perk is required. Pass perk. So why didn't I get it? I mean, maybe I just get some not amazing stuff. Or maybe I'm mistaken. Or maybe we would get actually something nice there. I have no idea. Doesn't matter. Let's go further. I'm going to activate this thing. Fill by a reactor. Uh, so there we'll be able to go further if we uh, have by a reactor on another level. Well, I have done a circle. Oh, it deplenished. So we've cleared sector A. And now we have to fill up by a reactor again. But so far I got no loot. And if I die here, does my stuff disappear? Can I click on it? Yeah, the door is stuck. Oh, so maybe not everything is ready here yet. Locked from the other side. Um... Can I go to the... I don't know how it works. I mean, just for the sake of education, right? We could probably fill up like that thing now to activate it. But we're going to do that a bit later. I want to see if you can exit this place because you'll require to bring lots of stuff with you to be able to fill up both floors, like the top floor to be able to go down and the down floor to be able to go further. So I want to see, can you go to the top, go back to your base and bring more resources? I'm just testing out stuff for you now. So what if I click to go back to the second floor? It is possible. You can't go back to the second floor after you fill up your bioreactor. So that's nice to know. I'm also interested. Can you go to the third floor? When I click on it, you can. What? We're going to go to the third floor soon. You can actually go to the third floor, mate. I mean, I'm just going to check a little bit. I, we're not, we're not going to go. Oh, there is just a peaceful guy. Probably. Are we going to check it out? Yeah, we're going to check it out. Who cares? Let's go. What is this dude? Uh, you just sneezed at me. Don't do it. It's time to get everything in order. Feels like I was just cleaning here yesterday. Okay. All right. What do we do? What do I do? Explain to me what's the third floor about. Maybe here I get my resources. Oh, this is like the stuff that we've seen from Sector 7. They reused it probably. I might help you with clearing the way, but only you can get it back on track. Okay. So I go here. I click on it. And oh, wow. Oh, wow. What are those? Those things were from... Those big robots, we require 40 of those hydraulic parts. I don't have them. And we need 40 titanium bars. I don't have it. Well, I'm going to take another picture right now. Beep. Smile for the camera, guys. <laughs> All right, so we'll have to activate it, basically. That's... I'm so lost. There's so much content that they've added during this... During this update. Again, it's hard to judge so far if it's, like, great or bad. As I don't have a slightest clue. How would I know? I mean, let's deal with those fast biters. Maybe I shouldn't be using my AKs. Okay, I'm gonna save a little bit of my AKs with my Glocks here. I'm also interested if I die, will my loot disappear? I doubt it. Probably it's gonna stay. Uh, someday, some way, we will test it out. Maybe probably on the live stream on Twitch. So make sure to follow me on Twitch after you watch this video. And where do I go next? Okay, more of these fast biters. Yeah, so they're quite simple. This place is quite simple. I don't even need to use guns here. We could use my melee weapon, probably. Probably melee weapon. Uh, I can't go there. All right, let's go to the tippity top. So maybe third floor isn't ready yet because I don't really know where to get those microchips. As British people would say, micro crisps. Ha, uh, stolen joke from somewhere. It doesn't matter. Smash the like button on the video. <laughs> Whatever, let's deal with the fast biter. Another fast biter and another fast biter. That's it. So third floor is just third floor for the memes. I don't even know if we can fill it up. Maybe like those items aren't in the game yet, you know, like probably the, these processors. Also, uh, 40 energy cells. A mobile energy source was widely used in the Genesis lab. Okay. Doesn't matter. Thank you, dude, for nothing. Where do I open up those crates, though? Let's go to the second floor. Wait, actually, you know what? We're not gonna go to the second floor. I want to explore one more thing because we will continue clearing that second floor. I want to quickly see if there's anything else inside of the laboratory. Maybe... I can open up my crate somewhere here. Oh, look at this. Isn't that amazing? This is the second down floor and we can see that reactor and that's where we started, right? 
that's where we go down to the second floor so we can see that we go down to the second floor we literally go here that's that's nice the developers added that little thing you know because in bunker alpha when we go down uh, to the lower floor we don't see where we're going but now we see okay so people can be careless you never know what you might find in someone's garbage during another cleanup yeah one man's garbage another man's treasure so he, that's what he told me that i can go in the <gasps> oh! Thank you! This is awesome! Thank you for 30 cards! They can stack up up to 50, just like green cards. So, what's up, mate? Can I do something? Storage is like box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I love this guy. I love... Dude, you're amazing. You're awesome. You're awesome. So, let's click on it. And you need 50 cards! Take away conveyor! Let's open it up! Are you excited for it? I am. <laughs> Did I click on it? I didn't. Let's go. Just got some smoke in my face and died. And he, oh, <laughs> this is awesome. We got an inhaler. I love it. I need it. <laughs> it cures the effect of spores and restores health. All right. So we got this uh, catalyst, a substance that accelerates a chemical reaction. We got new guns, neutralizer. Last argument of the Genesis security service allows to partially ignore his target's armor. So it's like low key the equalizer, but it's just neutralizer. Like kind of the same, except this is like. A slower version of that weapon. Let's get it. This is freaking awesome. This is awesome. We got those cells. So I'm also interested if you can get those microchips. Probably you can. We still can't open up that one because this is from A sector. This is from B sector, from C and from D sector. Dude, they added so much content to the game. Seriously, massive props to the developers. Like amazing. Also, if you're going to follow me on Twitch, we have like these awesome <laughs> clapping sound effects. So seriously, those clapping sound effects are for the developers now. All right, let's go down to the second floor. I want to see more stuff. I can't give up just like that. So 50 A cards to open up that crate. That seems a lot. But again, we cleared. I don't think we'll be able to get like those 30 cards all the time from that trash bin. So also, it looks like on the minimap we could go further, but probably we can't go right now. We'll be able to go there a bit later. Well, yeah, I'm going now to the second floor. I'm going to fill up that bioreactor once again with bunch of a bunch of grass. Oh, they also added new packs to the game. Okay, we got like that equipment pack. All right, you can get these guns here right now. And uh, here we can get armors crates. Okay, whatever. Who cares? Let's start filling up this bioreactor. I can even drop seeds there and seeds give two points instead of one. And I have a bunch of those seeds too, probably. Here we go, we have 400 seeds, so let's take like a couple of stacks of them. Maybe that's gonna be enough. Once again, probably just grow your seeds for carrots. That would be more worth it. All right, let's go back here. Resources, I'll probably just take a bunch of seeds. Bebop, bebop. That should be enough now. That should be definitely enough. Beam, bam. Oh, that's it, it's full. It is full. So we got the axes. Can I, let's say, go to sector B2? Probably the door is stuck. Maybe we'll be able to go there later in sector B1. Yeah, the door is locked from the other side. So maybe not everything is available yet here, but doesn't matter. Because already the content that we've gotten here is kind of cool. And in the future, they're going to add stuff as looks like developers started working on permanent updates. Seriously, so I am excited to see this. Uh, what's up with this question mark? Sector A, enemies damage increased by 1% for every missing percent of their health. What? Threat level. B, threat, uh, sector A2, B1, B2, I have no idea what that is. Okay, so we can unexpected. The first hit with blunt weapon now stuns the target for five seconds. You have to be in stealth mode. Jagged wounds and all... Jagged wounds, we already kind of know it. Yeah, bleed for 10 seconds. Immunity to all negative effects, but your body won't be saved after dying. What? That's kind of goop. Maybe we can refresh for those five coins. Are you sure you want to refresh it? Yeah, let's just see what other perks we got. Just for you, Executioner. Enemies with less than 15% of health take one and a half times more damage from firearms. All right, new rules. Deactivates all trap in the lab and deals damage to all nearby enemies. Doesn't work on bosses. Exhaustion. Enemies deal 15% less damage with melee hits. There are enemies who do melee hits to probably them just with their hands. Probably lights out. Cuts off electricity in the sector. Doesn't work on bosses. What is this? I don't understand most of these traps. Why there is electricity? Why would we need it? Iron head, immunity to stun effects. I think the stun effect immunity would be the best thing to get. Let's get it as of right now. Let's confirm it. That's it. So I got the second thing. So there's like two more to get because we got one, two. So maybe the sector A2 is gonna get further. It's like will be sector A3 and A4, maybe. Let's go. Let's go. I probably won't have enough guns. Like, let's be freaking honest here. Like, I'm asleep on guns here. They're making armors down there. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is awesome. Let's deal with this groaner. And that's it. Let's use my just guns. 
I mean, this screamer is gonna scream, but- and I- I avoid all stun effects. <laughs> I got a good skill! I got a good skill! Right, let's deal with that screamer. Yeah, yeah, so I should have maybe brought more guns with me. Can I leave this place? Probably not. Uh, or maybe I could leave it. Uh, can I? Let's say I open it up. Maybe everything's gonna reset here. I'm kind of scared to click on it, you know what I mean? I can go both ways. I just opened this up. And this is the same place. I don't want to go there. I don't know how it works. Wait, let's say I want to get out of here. Let's just test it out again. Who's gonna test out if not me? Right? You can probably exit this then. And you can go further. All right. Oh, but as soon as you go in, it closes so that you can't lure them there. Makes sense. All right, let's go further. Let's deal with those zomzoms. Here we go. There's another screamer. Uh, there are those scientists. I should have brought my AK here with me because that guy started spitting. Because that guy started spitting. Oh, no. The toxic spewer. That's gonna be kind of tough to do, to do. So I'm gonna get my AK right now. Just to deal with this toxic spewer. He's gonna shred my armor, mate. Die. Or maybe toxic spewers don't shred your armor. Yeah, yeah, those acid melters shred your armor, not toxic spewers. Alrighty then, there's Groner. Let's put Groner to sleepity sleep. This is a big place, like seriously, this laboratory is massive. I'm gonna open up another door. And oh no, more scientists. I'll deal with this guy and then I'll probably use my uh, katana. So first of all, I want to show for you that it's possible to probably wall trick this guy too. Even probably if you don't have this perk. Like here, I'm gonna stay here. Will he attack me? Or will he go around the corner? So it looks like he goes around that corner. Can I hide here? Oh no, here we go. We are wall tricking him, kinda. So even you'll be able to dodge his screams here in the corner. So th look at this, because he's attacking me here and I don't get any damage. So yeah, wall trick kinda works. You'll just need to practice a bit. It does work for everyone. Alright, so I'll deal with that screamer just to save like a little bit of my AK. That's probably the last melee weapon that I got, unless we have some more melee weapons in the inbox. Because I didn't bring more stuff with me. I should have brought more guns to this place, but I didn't. Let's go to weapons. And yes, indeed, I have one more katana. And that's it. That's it. Let's loot this shelf. More cards, perhaps? More A cards? Yes, we got more A cards, more pipes, and reagent box. Enter rad thingy. All right. I already don't like that they're giving those enter rads. It probably looks like there will be radiation and it's going to be really hard. I mean, that's cool that they gave us enter rad, but you, you got the point. Probably going to get a lot harder here. Probably. Uh, let's try to get back. Oh, no, I'm not going the right way. Am I? And I almost died. I didn't even pay attention to my health. Let's try to hide here. Alright, so now I'll be able to at least deal with those guys with the wall trick. Just to show for you that it's possible. Look at this. This guy's attacking us. I go back up. Wait, where's my katana? Let's take it. So I'm gonna get my katana and let's start doing the wall trick little by little. So I have to keep moving because if you're gonna probably stay further away from this slasher, the slasher will leave this wall and start attacking you. So you can't stay there on the top for too long. I'll probably show for you uh, what I'm talking about. Here we go, a couple of extra shots. And you need to time it properly. It's not like you're gonna be able to do it on your first try. Oh no, I got damaged. I didn't mean to get damaged. I just accidentally opened that pass thingy. All right, so here we go, another shot, another shot, and another shot. So look at this, that's what I'm talking about. If I'm gonna stay here, the slasher, oh no, here we go, slasher doesn't attack me, but sometimes I'll go a bit higher and slasher would leave that wall. So be careful, just keep moving and it should work. As I said, it takes a little bit of practice, but as you can see, it's kind of worth it. So let's go further. Oh no, Exploder! Mama Exploder, what? There's a jogging. Well, at least Mama Exploder was stuck for a bit. That's good to know. How do I deal with Mama Exploder? Well, probably I will get my another AK. I mean, she doesn't do that much damage, so I shouldn't be wasting my AKs, but hey, let's do it for now. Can I kill her fully? No, I cannot. She will explode regardless. And then you get those parasites from her. Basically, same like Exploder in Bunker Alpha. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Can I go here? There's another door where we can go. Like, this place is just big. Massive. There's the health pack thingy. Let's get it. I literally just wasted my points by getting this health pack. Why did they choose that perk? We can go here, perhaps. Let's go. I'm gonna open up all these doors. This alf- this Genesis lab is massive. A toxic spewer, huh? Well, let's go here. Let's start attacking the toxic spewer. Whatever. Spit on me, mate. Doesn't matter. I'll just deal with you. 
Let's get another, okay, more healing items. For them, I could probably do a sneak attack. I mean, so let's try to do a sneak attack at least on that Joggernaut, right? Yeah, so probably I should know more about these perks and how they work, etc, etc. That would be kind of useful. So I've done 38 damage to this Joggernaut because he has, like, so much defense. All right, these Screamers now ain't a big deal because we have, like, that anti-stun effect. Once again, you can probably wall trick them, like, everywhere. You can probably lure him over here and uh, here we go he's gonna come from this side and i'll just hide behind this wall and look at this now he'll be able to wall trick this dude here we go. you can start wall tricking him but yeah just be careful don't get stunned and whatever it doesn't matter he doesn't do probably that much damage even if he gets stunned i mean he does 14 damage with this set so he kind of does a lot of damage so yeah i don't think i'll be always wall tricking here maybe Probably I'll try to wall trick as much as possible to make at least some profit from this bunker alpha. Otherwise, we're just going to lose all the guns. But it doesn't really look like you even get guns from this place. So you got to do bunker alpha now. You got to do bunker alpha even more frequently. This game is already 90% bunker alpha. Now you got to do it even more frequently. Oh, maybe that's cool. It's like a server room, but we can lure these guys here. All right. We can also probably lure this dude. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'll go to the top and here I go. No! Okay, he didn't attack me, so we're gonna try to wall trick this dude. There you go. Once again, you can find a perfect angle, and you can wall trick him. All right, another attack, another attack, another one, and another one, and another one. Done. So probably today on the live stream, we'll be grinding for that titanium, because it looks like you need 40 titanium to craft it to level two. All right, let's open it up. Oh, wow, there's something there. I don't like it. That's why they spoke that it turns off electricity, so maybe that's like, it, it will damage me. Because I saw some sparks there. Oh no, another Slasher. Slasher just attacked me, yikes. Well, I can hide probably behind this door. Slasher, no, Slasher wasn't attacking me. I just got scared. I'm an idiot. Well, I might hide here then. No, Slasher came with me. Slasher came through. Well, probably we can wall trick from this side. Like, we should. Yeah, yeah, so here we go. Let's deal with this now. Scientist. And now we can once again deal with your slasher here peacefully on this wall. The more wall tricks you do on certain walls, the easier it will be for you to do them in the future. Alright, so I lost that melee weapon. I'm gonna eat some carrots because my guy was thirsty. So I'll probably just do a wall trick with my Glocks. Too lazy to go in the inbox and take that katana. So yeah, that's it. That guy is dead. Slasher no more. Uh, where do I go next? Probably will have to go straight here. Yeah, yeah. So let's bring probably an AK. We will probably lose here. I feel like this is gonna be the boss battle and we will lose. Right? But hey, let's check it out. I oh, know this is just a simple exploder for now. So let's hide probably behind the wall and we can start wall tricking them. Again, as I said, wall tricking two of them at the same time is gonna be trickier, but it is still kind of doable. All right, so she just exploded. I was hiding behind the wall. You don't get damage when you're hiding behind the wall. I have no clue how much damage she does, but probably a lot and probably she's gonna kill you. So be careful. It would be nice if I could use like that med pack again because using it only once seems really useless. Oh, I can't go there. Oh, here we go. I just, I was able to go through it. Oh no, these Tesla coils. What? Are you kidding me? So you gotta time it properly or else you die. All right. That's kind of fun. That is kind of fun. All right. So that thing stopped. I'm gonna stay here now. At least I'm interested if they zap you like instantly. Also, this guy just died and he probably dropped something useful. I'm gonna get stuff. Don't stay here. Don't stay in the water, dude. Or you will die. All right, let's go to the tippity top. And let's wait after these coils stop uh, shaking. I'll go higher. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We had enough time to do it. And that's it. As soon as they stop uh, blasting, I'll go open up the door. Here we go. We opened up the door, go higher. And now we'll deal with a bunch of these guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. That's just like one big yikes. And I died from standing on that goop. All right, so let's hop back in the laboratory. And I'm interested, will I be able to get my body back? Yo, what's up, mate? Things were much easier when someone was still keeping things in working order, but that's no longer the case. Okay. Is this bioreactor still full? It's probably... It's not full anymore. Okay, let's go to the second floor. And yeah, it also feels like this laboratory is kind of hard. So I don't really know if newcomers will be able to clear it. Probably not. Oh, I have my dead body. That's nice. That is very beautiful. I'm gonna probably try to take everything. We're gonna get rid of this old armor. But yeah, I don't think... Yeah, newcomers probably aren't gonna be clearing this place. But again, it's easier than Bunker Bravo. As we don't have a timer here. So that means people will be able to come up like with some sort of strategies. But again, there is only as much of wall trick that you can do. Like, for example, that place where lots of zombies came out, like, it's gonna be quite tough to wall trick them. Here, I brought back my armor somehow, some way sorted out my inventory. 
and let's go further through the door. Please tell me that I don't have to start from the beginning. I don't think so. All right, we don't have to start from the beginning. So it's like bunker alpha. If you die, you get to continue here. So that's why this place is like probably 10 times at least easier than bunker alpha. That's where they were making those uh, robots. And we had those robots in sector seven in the past. All right, that's interesting. Let's open up the door from the top. Let's go a bit further. So we have to wait until these coils stop. I'm interested how much damage they do. Do I try it out? I mean, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take it for you guys. Oh, it doesn't do that much. You survive from it. Then you get like electricity thingy, and that's it. I'm all. Oh! If I step on water, I'm dead. Right? Let's check it out. I got only 50 damage. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's not like lethal then. I thought we're just gonna die, but hey, we got a little bit of damage there. So yeah, yeah, it's fine then. We will survive. We will prevail. Ladies and gents, don't worry. Let's go higher. Let's go get these peeps right now. Maybe I can even like hide behind the wall here to be able to survive at least some of them. Will some of them come here? Okay, so they are attacking me. I'm still standing on those spits. Is that guy like, oh no, that's a lot of spits then. All right, can I go through all of that stuff? Yes, I was able to exit this and now I just need to attack them. Yeah, that's it. You just attack that place. And that's it. So that stupid toxic spewer. Yeah, seriously, they're very bad. You need to deal with them. You can't wall trick those toxic spewers. That's what's so annoying about them. Because seriously, look at this. We're gonna hide behind the wall. They will spit on you. And look at this. You still get damage through the wall. So you'll need to kill them with probably guns. I also gotta kill them with melee weapons. Maybe it's possible to trick them and lure them around. Doesn't matter. In any case, there's no timer. You do you, boo-boo. We're gonna shred them with guns. Let's get this. Let's loot the dude. Another alpha card. It's not an alpha card. It's a card. Oh, no, I didn't mean to stand here. Whatever. I'm just gonna discharge myself. <laughs> that was a stupid thing to say, but whatever. Just discharged myself. Don't discharge yourself, peeps. Or at least now you know how it works. You won't have to test it out yourself. Smash the like button on the video. Oh, an armor. What is it? This is beautiful. I can't touch it, though. Let's open it up. I'm getting ready for the boss. There's gotta be a boss. Oh, no. Another- I hate those spewers. I hate those spewers with- honestly, with passion. Like, yeah, I- I hate toxic spitters, but you know what I hate? More than toxic spitters, those toxic spewers. I mean, this place is quite easy to fight them, just you probably have to use guns. Let's use this med pack for 40 health. Useless spark. Wasted life. Okay, let's deal with this groaner. And mama exploder. I'm probably gonna hide here. All right, so we can fight those exploders with melee weapons. Again, did I bring a melee weapon? Not really, but did I bring a Glock? Yes, I did. So we're gonna fight her with a Glock. Again, it looks like you can't kill that exploder. Maybe unless you're gonna use like some sort of a special Glock that's gonna have like, not leg shot, but like, I don't remember how that special ability works. It's like a power shot or something. And only then you can probably finish these exploders off. Only then they're not gonna explode. Oh no, I'm gonna, oh no, I didn't die. That's good. Here we go, let's deal with those parasites. Again, parasites probably do a lot of damage. I'm not gonna test that out here. They might one-shot you. Or maybe not. Can I, the perk pass required. I didn't get that pass perk again. Stupid me. Probably pass perk is gonna be important. I still don't know what kind of loot we get in that pass room, but probably good loot. Probably important loot. If I get one more pipe, we'll be able to maybe even repair that generator as I'll have maybe most of the resources. Here we go, toxic spewer. Yeah, we'll go to the tippity top and we'll fight them with those guns then. On the tippity top, here we go, here we go, little by little, we will just keep running around, and that's it. it would be nice to damage those zombies on that. Oh no, Toxic Spewer, you did a loop-de-loop, -loop. you just trolled me. This place reminds me of the fourth floor, where you fight them around that trash pile thing, you know what I mean. In the beginning of the fourth floor, alright, deal with the flasher and now the screamer. Here we go, use a little bit of my AK, this place is massive! Like, this place is just seriously massive. All right, I'm gonna open this up. We got, like, those catalysts. Nice. Let's go a bit further. Is that it? Here we go. Let's heal up. It feels like it's a... Uh... Well, how this place is so huge? Let's go further. Let's open up uh, another door. And, uh... Oh, wow. I don't like it. I don't like this place already. I see a lot of water. Ugh! This dude just woke up! That's a boss! That's a new boss! And the door is locked. How on earth am I gonna fight him? Oh, mama mia, save me. How does it work, though? This is interesting. Let's start attacking him. Carrier MK5. Oh, he gets shocked, too. You can even shock him. And he heals when you shock him. It's not cool at all. So how on earth am I gonna kill him? I don't have a slightest clue. 
I was killed by him with one shot. All right, so you know what we're gonna do? Probably I'm gonna use this new neutralizer on him. I will also use this equalizer on him, and we're gonna use this reanimator on him. I don't know if that's gonna help much, and if we're gonna get these rubber boots, uh, hazmat shoes. I mean, they're probably not gonna help us out from that electricity. I mean, you're still gonna get electric shock, unless you don't get it with that stuff. I mean, maybe I'd love to test it out, but not today. <laughs> so we're gonna use this reanimator. So basically, if I die, as you can see now on the top left, I have like this kind of plus thingy. So that means if I die, my guy's just gonna resurrect. It's like basically having two health. So if I die fighting that boss, I'm not gonna be immediately die. I'll have another chance. So let's use that reanimator. And so far, I like the boss. The boss gets Ike's approval. He's kind of fun. Obviously, people are gonna find better ways to fight him and etc, etc. But as of today, I just love to at least pop him. All right, so I went to the top and I'm gonna drop these kind of valuable stuff like key cards, pipes. Well, alrighty then, I'm ready for that boss. I have another equalizer. Then I brought with me a couple of scars. All right, so we are back at the boss's place. Let's try to fight him and hopefully the loot is gonna be worth it. Because as of right now, I mean, we don't really get anything really valuable from this bunker alpha, uh, from this alpha lab. Even like on the top of the crate that we opened up, like we just got a couple of these guns, but... What's the point of that stuff, right? All right, so let's try to attack him. And I'll just uh, do my best to keep an eye on my health. And that's just it. Well, I just uh, got a little bit of damage. And how much damage does he do? I got stunned. No, 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 no. I'm spamming my healing item. Uh, no, 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 no. I healed up again. Here we go. He's probably gonna heal up here. No, no, no. Don't stump me. Don't stump me, you schmuck. All right. Don't attack me. He does 60 damage. All right, so we can probably kill him little by little. Well, I'm gonna stop on this. I'm still very electrified. Okay, I'm gonna start attacking him. So that gun kind of works well on him, I feel like. But maybe Glock would do 22 damage too, but I doubt it. I mean, soon we're gonna check out the equalizer. I still have like that, uh, another thing on me, whatever it's called. Wait, is he healing up? He's probably healing up. Nope, he's not. But last time he was healing up though. At least he's not super fast, you know what I mean? It's kind of cool. Uh, he attacked me. He does less damage now when he has less health, less health, no? Wait, I want to check out how does the Equalizer walk on him. I mean, he misses a little bit. Equalizer isn't that amazing. Okay, so this dude dead! 400 points for him and that's it. Uh, that was alright. Even these coils fell down here, okay? They became kind of goopy. So let's get this loot from the guy. We got a little bit of titanium and we got those hydraulic parts. Um, so you might ask me, well, Zach, is the loot worth it? Probably not. I mean, it's when you have like the right guns, I, yeah, we killed him like with not even full neutralizer and it does 30 damage here. So we did 22 damage. So I probably saved those neutralizers for the bosses. It seems like they do a lot of damage because I saw IKs don't do a lot. And they added like these guns here to the game probably for a reason. So yeah, it's probably worth it to use them on these bosses. But all right, all righty, all righty, all righty. Let's open this. It would be nice if he just dropped, like, proper titanium instead of, like, that titanium parts. And B1 sector. We can go to B1 sector? Are you kidding me? Access denied. Oh, so it's not available yet. It's not in the game yet. Ah! But yeah, we will clear the B1 entire sector. And after that, probably we'll go to B2 sector. Well, yeah, probably today on the live stream, we will try to upgrade this bioreactor to higher level. So as I said, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Twitch. Let's try to hit 10,000 followers there. Thank you guys for all your support. I really appreciate that. So I highly suggest you checking out my The Infected Let's Player. Click on the second card and you'll go to my Dismantle Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to jump a subscribe button and notification bell not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep